Welcome to today's demo, Demo 2 of Book Library 1, uh, formerly renamed to I Will Be Back Bookstore. Uh, and today, if you don't know what uh, Book Library 1 was or is, it's a, a web app that allows people to buy books, search for books, rent books through a subscription, uh, allow, allow them to create reading challenges, and find out more about the book and read uh, read reviews on them too. All of that can be done through I'll Be Back Bookstore. So the first order of business, if Alice, let's just take Alice for uh, instance, uh, would hover, like if she wanted to sign up, she would go to sign up, which was uh, designed by Shay. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Um, you can add a image uh, for your avatar Pretty much you would have to find a URL of the image you want to use as your avatar and just paste, post it right here. I'm just going to, uh, we can go to Google an image of Alice. Copy image address. There we go. Put it right there. And today's email is going to be Alice at yahoo.com. Password's going to be something simple like Q12345. Q12345. And sign up. And if Alice wanted to view her, her just created account, she would just have to uh, go to the link where it says, Hey Alice. And there we go. We have the avatar picture. See, that's nice and working. She can also edit her, or Alice can, has the ability of updating her information here too. You know, ask for current password and then such and such small security details. You can also cancel your account. Uh, thank you, Shay. Okay. That down to uh, searching for books and stuff. So if Alice wanted to search for a book and maybe potentially buy a book, this page was, or this, this feature was developed by Fu. Um, and Casey developed the, the books that you see here. Uh, Casey also developed this page to where you can also, you can get a summary, the price, uh, title, all that jazz, and then you can also see the reviews now, and you can also write a review, which I, John, implemented this. Um, just say, you know, this was a great book, or great book too, just to be safe. And as you can see, that was just created. If Alice wanted to write a review since she read it, it would be here. Let's go back to the store because Alice is tired of seeing this book. Uh, Alice can also, you know, sort by price, highest, lowest, genre, author, title alphabetically. See, I uh, can also search for a book. All these features or all this functionality is uh, thanks to uh, Boo. Thank you. There's no such book as Harry Pot, uh, but there is such a book called Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. You don't have to put all the, the whole title. Let's say if Alice wanted to buy a book, this was made by Fu. Nice little page. Uh, Fu also added a discount code. I don't know the discount as of right now. I don't think that was it. But she would be able to add that discount code and hit purchase, and it should reduce the amount of this subtotal down. All right. Thank you for purchasing the book. Or Alice would be able to do all that. Okay. So Alice wants to rent a book now or buy subscription because there's lots of books she wants to read. So basically, Alice would come back to her, 
her uh, account page and say, hey, I want to buy a subscription. Now, after devise was added and a few functionality or a few functions were uh, changed, uh, this comes up with an error. Uh, this right here. I don't know why, but it will be fixed. Hopefully soon. All right. So say Alice wants to cancel her subscription. Uh, the subscriptions were designed by me, John. Um, she should this uh, subscription link right here should be on her pay or on the account page, and only her uh, subscription should come up. But also you can cancel your subscription. And I added this little uh, thing saying, you know, kind of a safeguard. Are you sure you'll have to rebuy? After he hits cancel, it'll remove her subscription. Got one less up here. And then let's see. You can also create a reading challenge designed by, ooh, was it? I believe. I believe it was Foo or Casey. It was one of the two. Maybe they both worked on it together. I wasn't entirely sure about that. But you see, there's already one reading challenge created here. If Alice decided she wanted to make her own reading challenge, she would just add it through here. You know, book title. Harry Potter Chamber Secrets. Let's make it simple. Finish the book. 30, 30 days. Set it to June 2nd, which is 30 days from today. Create reading challenge. As you can see, oh, wait a minute. Oh, confirmation page. You can also edit it if you didn't like it. When you go back to the thing, you'll see right here that there is a challenge created. You can view, edit, and destroy the challenge. So let's just say I'm done with this challenge. It's gone. If I want to edit, take me back to the page to edit. Also, Alice can check us out. Who, who's behind the website? Uh, Foo designed this, I believe. Um, as for styling and everything, Foo added the, the images, little icons, made it really pretty. Uh, Casey added the background. I added the navigation bar, which was later on. The color was changed to this. Thankfully, the color I picked out before was atrocious. And Alice, if she wants to log, log out of her account, she can. Uh, Shay did this. See, you can see that you've been signed out. You can log right back in. Alice at yahoo.com. Q, one, two, three, four, five. I should have clicked remember me. Oh, my bad. Maybe I should have told Google to remember me. I'm hoping that doesn't show up in my video. And you're back in, as you can see. Oh, uh, if Alice wanted to buy a book, she can go back to the bookstore. Uh, Foo added this. Wanting to be sure I get this feature. I'm not sure if I included this. I've had to remake this video twice. Um, just hit buy now. And there we go. And as you can see, it's in your personal library. Uh, you can give one of these books away as a gift.